Hello, it's Bud. This is probably the first of several lessons that will be covered under a title of Without Pattern Editor. This is part one. Michael Tyler contacted me the other day and suggested uh, that I do something for people who do not yet have Pattern Editor. Pattern Editor is a very good program um, the cost uh, for pattern editor alone is worth the money uh, but for a few dollars more like 50 um, you get the probe along with pattern editor which gives you even more capability uh, because you can scan something and then edit it as well but this is the first part and it's going to concentrate on one thing that we can do without having pattern editor. Uh, it's basically the same thing we covered in the pattern editor session part three. What we're talking about is Michael called me and says hey your part three is good but if someone doesn't have pattern editor there is a workaround that we can do and what we're talking about is removing what I call unwanted mountains you have a figure uh, that you've you pulled in someone's pattern it may be even a stock pattern uh, from LHR and there are supposed to be voids but those voids appear to be mountains so let's look at it at a uh, designer and pull in uh, a particular pattern Okay, I pulled in Designer, Open Designer, and let's go to the Pattern Library, and let's go to the the Basics, and let's go to a um, category called Filigrees, which is already open down here, and we're going to look at this one. There's it looks like there's two voids on this particular filigree, so I'm going to highlight it come over here and bring it in and if I move this thing slightly okay here you can see the white where they're supposed to be valleys and here you see the C which is the right hand white section here and then you've got this little deal right here which is this other void and they are standing up rather than being valleys. That's what we want to work with. So I'm going to highlight the pattern and Michael stresses that this next step is very important so let's do it. Right click, come down to bit optimization and click best. Probably I can come up here on my icons and do the same thing. But that's what I want is bit optimization of best. Michael's point is that by doing this, you get crisper edges on your on your uh, pattern, and that is very important for an outline uh, that we need to do next. All right now, if I just now highlight the pattern. I've already done the bit optimization the best. I uh, click on the icon for outline patterns or outline, yeah. And I know that there are two voids. Okay, so I know I'm going to get an outline for the outer perimeter, but then I should have two others if it's going to outline correctly. This bottom one is my outer path. I don't need it. And I've got three. It looks like the C over here outlined fine. But this larger one did not outline correctly. So I'm going to undo until all of the uh, 
outlines are gone. Okay, so now what I'm going to do uh, is use this so I got it where you can see more. I'm going to enlarge the figure and now do an outline. And I have three paths, one for the outer perimeter and the other two. So if I hold down control and click on the outer path, I just have the the two voids. Okay, so that you see what's going on. So we know what's going on there. So I can throw away this outer path and I've got the other two paths. Now, the next thing we need to do is highlight the figure and note the depth. In this case, it's quarter of an inch, 0 0.250. All right, so I'm going to go to edit and select all, or I can do a contri control A, uh, or I can just hold down control and click on all of these things. Uh, I'll take that back. I don't need the filigree. So I'm going to hold down control get rid of it. These two paths now, I want to make carved regions. And I want to make sure that the depth is exactly the same as my pattern. It was 250, so I want these voids to be at a depth of 250. Uh, if my pattern was 565, then I would set these voids on the, on these cut paths or paths to the same thing. But I've got it correct. And now you see that my mountains are now valleys, which is exactly what I want. So now, if I edit and select all, you see I've got yellow triangles on the corners. And that's important. Let's back up one step. If I select all, now if I just move the red like I do for normal resizing, the only thing that changes is that pattern. And the, the voids are not doing what they're supposed to. So I know I've made a mistake. Let's get out of that mistake by going to edit and undo and I'm back here. The thing to remember is use the yellow diamonds uh, triangles and size everything together and now I can have that pattern whatever size I want and I have my voids and that, in a nutshell, is how Michael showed me that people without Pattern Editor can remove the mountains. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.